here's my Cobb LED. These are three watt Cobb LEDs. And they get really hot if you run them off of a lipo battery like 3000 baht or something, 10C. So I've mounted them with contact with a conductive glue onto the aluminum plate here, which used to be a quadcopter center plate that I made. And I mounted a computer fan on the back, blowing forward a dirty computer fan, a used one. And I wired that straight into the 12 volt feed. I'm using a security wire here because it's low voltage. So using doubled up copper wires here for redundancy. And then I can plug that in. And then the fan will turn on and blow air throughout these holes here, which were lightning holes for the quadcopter. And cool off the aluminum that's heating up from the base of each one of these 3 watt LEDs. And, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to use for a spotlight. And it works quite well. So, I was thinking of alternatives for boats and uh, off-grid living and being able to set up a 12-volt system to run off of solar. Uh, so I'm going to be in this position soon to be uh, having to provide my own power one way or another. And uh, I want to get this all done while I'm still in this city and have all the access to stuff I need. Now, I will have internet when I move, but we want to make sure that we're self-sufficient and not paying a lot of money for hydro. So, take your Cobb LEDs, mount them to a piece of aluminum, punch some holes in it, put on an old computer fan blowing forwards, 12 volt, and you've got a cooling fan that you can have your Cobb sitting from the ceiling. These are pretty cheap too. You can get 10 of these for about $7 on eBay. I think it's five dollars, ten of these little LEDs. I'm using them on my motorcycle as well for the tail light because they're 12 volt, but you have to put a big heat sink in because constant power to them, they'll just get so hot they'll burn out. You'd have to put a resistor or a current limiter on it. So there you go.